Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Hell ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, so we are doing so good on Amazon that they have now given me my official Amazon Direct store link. So if you guys wanna sip on some tea with your girl and continue supporting this channel, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net. If you are an Amazon Prime member, you guys can now go directly to amazon.com backslash shops backslash lovely tea and there you will find all of my tea all of my tea accessories so make sure you guys purchase something so you guys can sip this piping hot tea with me so thank you so much for not only supporting this channel but also support my tea line and support me on amazon please don't forget to leave a review thanks and enjoy the video hey you guys hey tea sippers i know it's been a long time since you guys have seen me it's been about a week the last time i posted anything i was on my way to my brother's wedding and it turned out beautiful we had a wonderful time a lot of family was in town and it just took a lot out of me i had to take at least a week off um because as you guys know the week before that i was in north carolina and you know i just been doing a lot of traveling and everything just kind of caught up to me you know trying to rush down there do what I had to do down there and then rush back to Minnesota and then just all the stress from the wedding and the planning and the helping out it was a lot and hosting there was a lot of people that were staying at my house as well so I needed a much needed rest I needed a much needed break thank goodness I didn't have to check myself into the hospital but in the meantime I just took care of myself at home until I started feeling better. So I just had to unplug from the matrix, unplug from social media, unplug from posting, from everything and take care of myself because at the end of the day, I only have one temple and if this temple disappears, who will spill the tea for you guys? I know you guys are fickle as fuck and y'all will just move on to the next YouTuber, but to my real tea sippers, they want me here for the long run. So, you know what I mean? I had to take care of myself first. So I'm glad to be back. Thank you guys, and thank you guys to everybody who was sending me messages and DMs and emails checking on me. I haven't been able to reply back to everybody, but I eventually will. You know, I appreciate, you know what I'm saying, the, the warm wishes. Thank you for all the positive comments on the picture. You know what I'm saying, I have to represent my culture. So anyways, I know you guys are here to, you know, sip on some tea and see what's going down. So I know one of the main things that went down last week, and I want to kind of touch on it um, because it's still going on this week, okay? It's just all this mess with Nicki Minaj. You know, a lot of people have been wanting to know my opinion, what I think about this. You guys know I did the whole Queen album review, and that video got a lot of hits. A lot of people really liked my review because it was open and honest. I wasn't in there just kissing her ass. There were certain songs I liked and other songs I didn't like. I kept it real, and I I stand by everything I stated in the video, okay? So, you know, since then, Nicki Minaj has been on this whole tirade where she's literally made Travis Scott her nemesis. You know, she called him the whack nigga of the week or some shit like that on her Queen Radio and drug this man for the filth, went in on him. And then at the VMAs, supposedly Kylie Cena and Kylie Herpin walked the other way. And, you know, it's just been a lot of drama, a lot of mess going on behind Nicki Minaj. Her being upset that she came in second place on the Billboard and Travis Scott was first place. You know, basically just shitting on him. And a lot of people in the industry seem to be distancing themselves from Nicki as well. So I want you guys to go ahead and listen to this tirade that she went on on the Queen Radio about Travis Scott. Go ahead and check this out. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary whole nigga of the week of course is travis scott Woo! travis scott on thursday when he realized the queen was about to have the number one album in america he and his label decided to have kylie and baby stormy put up a uh tour pass he had her go and post and say hey i can't me and stormy can't wait to see y'all how are you selling something that does not have anything to do with your album, but it's being counted on Billboard as album sales? But what we're not going to do is have this auto tool man coming up here selling fucking sweaters and telling y'all he sold half a million fucking albums because he didn't. And it's a lot of rappers behind the scene that want to talk about it and they're scared. But sweetheart, I'm not scared. I'm legendary in these streets. I love Kylie. I love Kim. I actually love all of them. Um, I know that you guys are saying me and Baby Stormy have beef. Really? <laughs> 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 ah! Oh! 
beef. And so, yes, we do. <laughs> now, 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 this is what the fuck is happening today. What's happening? Me against Baby Stormy. People said we have this rivalry now. So, okay, now I'm going to start from scratch. Travis Scott wins whole nigga of the week by a landslide. And it's because Travis Scott is out here selling fucking clothes and got y'all thinking he's selling fucking music. Mm. Sit your stupid ass down, fucking... Oh, I was gonna call him cocksuck of the day, but he didn't get that award. Honey. All right, so you guys just heard her long ass rant. Like I said, she called him a whole ass nigga. I mean, just basically disrespecting him. And that really turned me off because I'm the type of person like this. One thing I can say about Travis Scott is that the dude is quiet. He basically keeps to himself. He, you know, he, he hangs in like a really small, tight circle. I do try to act like Kylie Jenner put him on. Travis Scott had his own fan base, his own hardcore ragers long before he ever knocked up Kylie Jenner, okay? Let's keep it real. Kylie Jenner stole Travis Scott from Justine Scott. Travis Scott has been doing his thing. And I remember when his album dropped, you know, like two weeks ago, my oldest son is a big fan of Travis Scott. You know, he likes Travis Scott's music, Kanye's music, all that stuff. And I remember when Travis Scott's album dropped, my oldest was the one who told me, like, Mom, you got to download the album. This is a banger. Every song bangs. And I end up downloading and I do like Travis Scott's album. Travis Scott, the reason why I like him is that even though he's around this huge attention horn family like the Kardashians, the dude is not about attention. You don't see him on social media. He don't have a bunch of babies out here like Fetty Wap. He don't have a bunch of baby mama drama. He's not on some NBA young boy shit. The dude makes his music. You know, he takes pictures with his baby girl. He spends time with Kylie. He does him. He's a real quiet guy. You don't hear about him in a lot of controversy and a lot of bullshit. So the way she was dragging him and just going off on him, to me, I felt was just totally uncalled for. You know what I'm saying? That's not how you carry yourself when you consider yourself to be a queen. A queen does not allow the world to see her sweating. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Nicki Minaj may be on the edge of a nervous breakdown because she's really upset because she did not get that number one spot. Whereas when Cardi B's album, Invasion of Privacy, debuted, she was number one, and so many songs off of that album have gone number one. They've gone platinum. And a lot of folks are saying that, yes, there's a machine behind Cardi. I remember people were tagging me this week. I don't know if you guys had a chance to see this video. Um, I ended up saving it because they were deleting this off of social media. But a lot of the new movies that are coming out, when you go to go Google them, I think one of the movies is like Crazy Rich Asians. When you go to Google these movies and you click on them, they're redirecting you to Cardi B's website. I want you guys to go ahead and check out these video clips that people were tagging me in. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary.
When I seen that shit, I was like, wow. You know, it's crazy. And I'm not saying that Cardi B herself is behind that. I don't think Cardi B really understands the inner workings of how these people are working to promote her and to push her. I think she's just happy that she's doing her thing. She's able to eat. She's able to take care of her family. But I do believe that Atlantic Records is doing a lot of shady shit behind the scene to push Cardi B to the forefront. And, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. Her album still went number one. Travis Scott went number one. And Nicki Minaj, you know, she went number two, but that's still nothing to sneeze at. You have folks who drop albums, they don't even make it onto the Billboard 100, you know what I'm saying? So I think that she's very, very upset and she's very pressed and I think it's turning a lot of people off. On top of her going off on Travis Scott last week, um, she also announced that she was not going to be doing her tour. Her Initially, they were saying that her U.S. tour was going to be canceled and that's what Billboard was reporting and she went off on Billboard and she said that it was not going to be canceled. It was going to be postponed um, till 2019 instead of it going on in like November or something like that um then she came out and said that she was like the Harriet Tubman of the rap industry and folks were dragging her about that and then when TMZ confronted her she stood her ground and still stated that she was the Harriet Tubman of the industry check this out streaming service all right honey so y'all just saw that damn video okay so now the crazy thing is a lot of folks are noticing that there seems to be a friction with Drake and Nicki now, if you guys remember, Nicki initially said that when she put out the song Barbie Dreams that, you know, all the rappers knew beforehand. It was, you know, respect to all the rappers. It was not a diss. But since then, Drake has not really been seen with her. He hasn't really said anything to her um, because there were two specific lines in Barbie Dreams where she kind of disrespected Drake. You know, one when she was talking about she doesn't know if her coochie's wetter or if it's Drake crying. In another part, she said she was going to screw Odell Beckham, but then she had to stop. But then she chose not to have sex with Odell Beckham Jr. when she saw that he was dancing to Drake's music, okay? So those were two Drake disses. And obviously, Drake may be feeling some type of way because now... Now, all of a sudden, after all this beef with Nicki Minaj and Travis Scott, well, actually, it's a one-sided beef because Travis Scott has said nothing to Nicki. He has not acknowledged her. He's let her throw her damn tantrum. He's doing him and getting his damn bag, okay, which I respect. That's how you handle people who try and start beef with you. You ignore their ass, okay? So, Travis Scott, you have learned well because that's what I do here, and that's what Queen Beyonce does as well, and she taught all of us when it comes to ignoring beef and ignoring shade and drama and shit like that, Okay. Focus on your bag. Let the naysayers say what they want to say. At the end of the day, you're making your moves, okay? But what I found funny is that shortly after that, you see Drake posting all these pictures with him and Travis Scott. You know, Drake, you know, letting Travis Scott come on his tour. But now the biggest slap in the face that people are saying, even the blogs are saying that there seems to be a rift between Drake and Nicki, is that yesterday during his Amigos, the Three Amigos tours with Drake at Madison Square Garden in New York last night, they brought out Cardi B. So during the concert, they bought Cardi B out there to rap the song Motorsport, okay? And as we all know on that song Motorsport, Nicki Minaj is also on that song. So it's very ironic that that's the song that they chose to bring Cardi B out there to perform. So it almost looks like maybe Drake has kind of turned his back on Nicki. He's not too much fooling with Nicki because of Barbie dreams, because now he's hanging out with Travis Scott. He's bringing Cardi B out there with the Migos on his tour. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this video of Cardi B coming out at Madison Square Garden last night. She tore the house down. So go ahead and check this out. All right, so you guys just saw Cardi B come out there and kill it. So like I said, I feel like Nicki is going through a lot. And even recently, she was on social media online smoking weed. I don't know. I feel like this woman is definitely going through a lot. You know, maybe she's on the verge of a breakdown. Even on her radio show, when I've tried to listen to some of her radio show, it's like she's doing all this weird laughing. She, you know, at times she sounds incoherent. You know, she seems really upset. <laughs> Why did y'all give us sound effects? <laughs> I spoke up about streaming. 
Or remember when I was selling 400,000 in my first week booth yeah. while they were while they were stealing and streaming my music mm -hmm. and we weren't we weren't getting uh, recognized for that? Mm -hmm. Oh, some of y'all favorite artists need them streaming points, boo boo. You could you could thank Onika. Shout out to Chance the Rapper. Chance, what's up? Chance the Rapper, let it be known that Onika was one of those people fighting. A lot of people see Onika fighting and stay quiet, and then they reap the benefits from what Onika fights for. A lot of people let Onika be the bad guy, and that's okay because I got big fucking balls. She's saying that she now wants to speak her truth. She's no longer biting her tongue, and that's fine. But then there's also a way that you go about doing that. And I feel like, you know, at this point in time, she's coming off as looking angry and bitter to a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like, you know, the fact that she didn't come in number one really has bothered her because she's supposed to be the queen of rap. And how's the queen of rap not coming in first place as opposed to, you know, Cardi B, who's saying that she's really just doing this for fun. She's admitting to using ghostwriters. She's not taking the rap thing as seriously as most people would hope that she would. Yet and still, she's winning. You know what I'm saying? I think that really has Nicki Minaj bothered. I think another thing Nicki Minaj should have done is took Cardi under her wing and been more like a mentor to her. Imagine if she would have did a concert that is the Nicki Minaj and Cardi B tour. That would have sold out. Folks would have went. They'd have been talking about women empowerment and all this other stuff. So instead of being in like competition with her and, you know, having all these petty jabs towards her. And they both have done it to each other. Cardi B's not innocent in this at all, okay? They both done it to each other. But had Nicki come out like the big sister and really took Cardi under her wing, I think it would have looked better for her. And her music would have been supported and embraced more. So anyways, I just wanted to go ahead and recap a lot of the stuff that happened last week with Nicki. And then a lot of stuff that's going on still. Do you feel like there might be a drift between Nicki Minaj and Drake? Do you feel like Drake is low-key shady Nicki by teaming up with Travis Scott? And now, you know, allowing Cardi B to come out. Now granted, Migos is on the tour as well. But it's also funny that Cardi B has done other songs with Migos, but they chose to do that song, Motorsport, which also has Nicki Minaj on the track as well. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Nicki Minaj going off on Travis Scott, her tour being canceled, her considering herself here at Tubman. How do you guys feel about that? And then do you guys feel like there might be a rift between Drake and Nicki Minaj because of the moves that Drake is low-key making and the fact that also Nicki said on the Sway show that she has not talked to Drake since the song has come out. Because I know how close Drake and you are. Yeah. And uh, did, did you tell him it was coming down the pipeline? Or did he, he <laughs> yo, so you didn't even tell him? What, what did he say? Did he call you? He hasn't said nothing? Have you talked to him since? Is he feeling away? Is he in his feelings? <laughs> So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Nikki! <laughs> hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.